Hey guys, it's Kayleen and Raymond with Go Time Training, and today we're here to talk about motivation. So we sent out a survey through SurveyMonkey oh, a few weeks ago, and I got a lot of feedback that motivation was the one thing keeping people from reaching their fitness goals. So I wanted to start off today with a few things that I do that keep me motivated to stay true to my health and fitness goals. And the first one is I set small goals. Some of you guys might have seen my post uh, a week or so back about doing a pull-up and I had a band around it when I was doing a pull-up. So my goal for myself was to do one pull-up, uh, one body weight pull-up and it's taken me years to finally get there but I've got it. Um, mm. And that band helped me get there. So that's one thing that keeps me motivated. Um, another thing is when I'm working out and I'm eating healthy, I feel good in my body. And the better I feel in my body, the better friend, um, family member, um, the better person I am to our clients and our team. So just feeling good keeps me motivated. How about you, Raymond? Um, well, um, I, I take selfies. That's what, that's what, no, no, seriously, um, progress photos do actually keep me motivated. So you might have seen four or five hundred of those that I posted occasionally. But uh, progress photos do actually keep me, I, I kind of see where I'm at, I know where I've been. Um, they can help you make, um, they can help you stay motivated even if the scale's not changing because you can see things that are, are differently. So obviously you don't want them to demotivate and you want to be positive and look forward to those things, but progress photos are a good thing. Uh, and then also um, just I personally, and I think anybody can do this, is, is I have to exhibit the lifestyle. So understanding that how I am as far as my lifestyle can inspire others to have a better lifestyle, it really is a great motivator for me. Um, I want to make sure that my loved ones and my clients and that my friends uh, can see what I'm doing and want to be able to do those same things. So sometimes that can be enough kick in the butt for me to get and, and work out when I feel crappy. I know that somebody uh, may be inspired by me, which is a pretty amazing thing when you think about it. So Yeah, it's true. And you have to think about your long-term health, which is what I think about every single true. day, not just the here and now. So I think about what do I want to be like when I'm 50, 60, 70 years old, and I want to be agile, I want to be mobile, um, I want to be a spunky old lady, if that makes sense. Yeah, I think you definitely will be, so I think you're going to be all right. <laughs> I'm going to be that old guy that pinches butts. Uh-oh. No. Monica, watch out. No, I'm just sure. But seriously, if you guys need motivation, <laughs> uh, we're always here to help. We're posting motivational blogs, uh, recipes, tips on our Facebook page to help keep you fitness focused. Um, we will see you next week for more tips and tricks to help you in the new year. Stay moving.